If you want to get an animated mesh out of Notch, the way to go is the Geometry Exporter node. This node basically takes any geometry you stick into it and outputs it as a file format for you to use in other tools or to import back into Notch. So I've got the node here. All I need to do is connect it to the root node, then take the output of my procedural meshing node and connect it to the exporter geometry geometry input. From here, I get a few options. For time, I'm just going to tell it not to animate a sequence. And then I'm going to hit bake now. This gives me up a bunch of options for how I can uh, export my sequence. Uh, in this case, as I said earlier, it's only a single file. So all I need to worry about is the file name and the export type. Uh, I want it to be an OBJ and I want to make sure that the file is going to my desktop and I'm just going to replace this file here. Now I'm going to do is hit bake and wait for it to come back. Right now we can see it's finished. I can re-import that mesh back into the scene and it came from notch so I don't need to worry about the scene scale or anything. Just add it to my scene, move it to the right, and here we go. You can see that the mesh is pretty much exactly what we expected from Notch. Now, one bonus tip, uh, procedural meshing is actually deceptively efficient. In this scene, there's actually over 170,000 uh, polygons, which is fine for one mesh, but if you're, animating an, uh, if you're exporting an animated sequence, well, you may want to put the kettle on.